Hey YouTube, I haven't done a proper hair curling tutorial since NAM, and now that I have bangs, I feel like things are a little bit different with the way that I do it, so let me walk you through it. We're starting all the way from the beginning with wet hair. First, I like to apply my Euro Oil from Morocco Method. This is a brand that I love. I've mentioned them before on my channel. I like to warm up the product between my hands and then run it through the ends of my hair, and then with the excess, I'll brush through with my wet brush. This Euro Oil protects your hair, it smooths the hair shaft, it's organic and vegan, so if you are vegan, you can totally use this product. Now I am pulling my hair back into a ponytail and I'm brushing my bangs forward. I like to dry my bangs separately and then do the rest of my head afterward. So right now I'm wetting them again, just so I have like a blank canvas with my bangs, brushing them through one more time. And now I'm gonna take my blow dryer and there's really no rhyme or reason to the way that I blow dry them. I kind of run my fingers through it and blow dry them as I go. Now you'll see I took a round brush. I only do this for a couple of seconds to add a little bit of lift and volume to my bangs so they're not flat to my forehead. But after that, I go back in with the blow dryer and just continue with a messy blow dry. Once my bangs are dry, then I move on to the rest of my hair. This is by no means like how I give myself a proper blowout. I am incompetent and it takes me forever to give myself a blowout. So this is more like just a quick blow dry. I like to focus on the roots first and then work out because I hold a lot of moisture close to my scalp. The Euro Oil is also a huge help at this part because it keeps the hair shaft nice and smooth and soft and it keeps the frizz down to a minimum. Once my hair is dried, then I like to go and brush it out. This brush changed my life. It's from Morocco Method, they did send it to me, but I have not been able to put it down since I got it. So definitely give it a go if you have thick, tangly hair like I do. Now I'm just applying another little pea-sized amount of the Euro Oil to my hair for some added smoothness and protection. I'm brushing it out, and now I'm gonna start sectioning off my hair to start curling it. For the first layer of hair that I'm gonna curl, I like to start just above my ears. Um, I split it into two sections on either side of my head, brush that out so it's nice and smooth. Um, I don't like when my hair gets all crusty from like unbrushed hair on a curling iron. The curling iron that I'm using, I, I really don't know what it is, I don't know where I got it from. I've had this curling iron for so, 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 so long. Originally it had a clamp on it that I ended up unscrewing so that it turned into a hair wand. I've noticed that some people just curl over the clamp nowadays, I wish I had thought of that. But uh, I just unscrewed it if you want to do that to your curling iron. So anyway, for the bottom layer of curls, I like to go a little bit tighter with them because they're the curls that are going to be rubbing up against my neck and stuff, so they tend to loosen up a bit quicker than the other curls on my head. Um, there's really no rhyme or reason to how I curl my hair. I do like to alternate them, so you'll see me go away from my face first, and then I'll curl towards my face, and then maybe I'll go away again, maybe I'll go towards my face again. It all depends on what I'm feeling. I like to alternate because it adds more texture to my hair. I don't like when my hair looks too perfect. I start to feel like I look like I'm wearing a wig or something like that. The only really strict rule that I would say when it comes to curling my hair is that when I get closer towards my face, I only curl away from my face. So you'll see those two pieces that I just did both went away from my face rather than alternating one and then the other. Uh, I just like the way that looks. Something about curls close to my face that are curled in towards my face reminds me of like really bad hair days from when I was just learning how to curl my hair, so I like to avoid that. But you know, to each their own. If you dig it, then do it. When I'm finished curling one side of my head, I like to run my fingers through those curls so that when they set, they're a little bit looser. A lot of people are scared of brushing out their curls and of running their fingers through their curls. I find that that's the best way to achieve a really soft, wavy, curly type look. Like I said, I don't like it to be too perfect. So once I do that, then I move on to the other side of my head. Okay, back to curling. So clearly I've moved on to another section of hair. I typically curl my hair in about three sections worth. Everybody's different, everybody's got different hair thicknesses. Um, so just because I did three, maybe you don't have to do three. Maybe you'll have to do four or five. Maybe you'll just do two, you know? So um, I'm just continuing with alternating the curls in the directions in which I curl them. My only rule, like I said earlier, is that towards the front of my face, I like to go away from my face with the curls. 
If you're new to curling your hair, then you'll find your own rhythm and you'll discover where you like your curls to lay and how tight you like your curls and stuff like that. Prior to having bangs, I didn't really spend any time styling my hair. I could pretty much air dry it and braid it and just go from there, but I found that with the bangs, I wanted to spend a little bit more time styling it and uh, just making it look a certain way. So it was kind of like relearning how I like to curl my hair all over again when I did get back into this. So the more you do it, the more you'll figure out how you like it and your own style. So once I finish up curling my hair, I like to kind of flip it around like you're seeing me do. And then I like to run my fingers through it to loosen it up before I loosen it up even more with my brush that I used earlier. So this is just gonna break up any knots, gonna break up any real texture that I have in the hair. At first, it's gonna look really nice and perfect, even though I said I don't like that. Um, it might look a little bit floofy, but I promise as you brush it out some more, it's gonna look way more natural. And I also find that when I sleep on my hair, it looks really good too. Now, not everybody hair is the same. I don't use hairspray on mine. You might want to use a little bit of hairspray, um, but you know, you'll figure it out as you go. So if you guys are interested in learning about any of the products that I used in this video, except for the curling iron, because I don't know what that is, I'll have it linked below. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. Check out some more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.